Hello once again all studio warriors around the world, it's Funnel here once again and today I wanted to be talking about expansion a little. One day I got an email asking if there's a way to expand the dynamic range of an audio signal and there is. Let's see, I have a drum break here. So let me open up a third party plugin called Nova by Tokyo Dawn. This is a paid version, Gentleman's Edition. There is a free version of this plugin, but it does not allow for the functionality that I'm about to show you. In an earlier episode, I've talked about dynamic EQing, and let's do that first. I won't be explaining it that much because I've done it. You can, you can find the video in the playlist, but let's do this. I've set the EQ to around the mid range and let me pull the threshold down push up the ratio a little bit. So what it's doing now is whenever the, a drum hits around uh, 1300 hertz, uh, roughly, that's mid range. So every time the signal exceeds the range, it'll be pushed down. But I can sort of, I can reverse this process by expanding. And how am I going to do this? Well, in this plugin, I have to bring the ratio down to less than one and see what it starts to do. Let me actually do this in, as I go. Watch it and listen to it. Hey. So it is expanding the audio and what it's doing is, well, if you first think of your regular dynamic EQing, which usually brings the signal down when it exceeds the threshold, here the, the signal that exceeds the threshold is pulled up, it's expanded. The things that you have to be aware of is the threshold that the signal has to exceed for the uh, plugin to do something. And if I set the threshold very low, it means that very low parts of the signal are going to be pulled up. So it's actually a very nice way to pull up some a bit of room noise and all that crap in, in the sound. So adjusting these settings as well as ratio can give you some pretty interesting results in terms of tone. So ratio is, we could call it intensity in this matter. And let me show you how to do this in Ableton Live. So for all you Ableton Live users, this will be free. Let me pull up multiband dynamics. And let me click on the AA module, which is, it relates to above threshold. So I will, I'll be doing the same thing that I did with Nova. This is my threshold. So this is basically the same thing that I have here in Nova. And remember, ratio has to go under one, it has to be less than one for expansion to happen. So upwards expansion. Let's listen and see. Let me actually play this first without anything, any action. And if you take a look here on the left, You see how much the signal is boosted. So yeah, that that's it in a nutshell. If you want to expand upwards, this is your best friend. A relevant question would be, why do this instead of your regular EQ? Well, it's good to have a few different tools in your audio toolbox if you want to get good with engineering. And sometimes this is a more, let's say, organic and transparent result because it's reacting dynamically versus if you have a regular EQ, the boost will always be on. So it'll always affect everything. But dynamic control can sometimes give you a more organic result. It sounds more transparent and just better for the lack of a better word. So this is expansion, upwards expansion. So if you got any comments, 
holler. I'll get back to you. Till the next time.